today is the first fracture event for Halo Infinite Season 3. Now, even though we've been able to play around with like Chimera Core, we actually got a chance to unlock some true customization for it. I'll be honest with the event pass for the Fracture Core, there is some good stuff in it, but there's not a whole lot of good stuff in it. And can you believe that 65% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel? If you guys like Halo news and want to know everything that's happening with Season 3, the Fracture event, and everything beyond, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Out of the 20 tiers of this event pass, six of those are a repeated coding that you unlock. Five of those being different emblems and backdrops, which are not the most interesting things. Though I would say that the coatings for the Burnt Chrome and also the Backstop Burn coatings, they look awesome in their own right. I'm happy to have those in the game for sure. And I can also understand it being a free event pass that so you can kind of just trickle in the content a little bit, but it just doesn't really feel that rewarding when you unlock the exact same thing for like the fifth, sixth time in a row. We get a new helmet for that Chimera Core called the Marrow, which to me actually looks kind of cool, reminiscent of like that skull helmet that we got in MCC, but this time a much more techie style. I think it looks awesome. The Violet Darkness Visor. Some of the new armor pieces tied with this core actually utilize the visor color on the armor sets themselves. We're looking at like the knee pad right here, which utilizes the visor. We have the two shoulder pads, which are basically the entirety of the visor. The wrist attachment, as well as the chest piece, all utilizing the visor coating. So it's a cool way to kind of add some more utility to that cross core customization that we actually do have in the game at the moment. We also get the set breakpoint stance on top of the whole thing. And if you complete all your weekly challenges, you unlock the facing firewall coating for your Spartan. Now the Chimera event runs from today, March 21st, all the way until March 28th. So you have a week to get in and jump in and get all the unlocks for yourself. Now it will come back throughout the rest of this season. Some dates have been leaked out there, but not concrete. So I don't really want to share too much, but just know that if you don't unlock everything this week or have a chance to play this week, it will come back. And given how easy it is to unlock things now through the challenge system and also progression within the Halo Infinite, that it shouldn't take you too long. Now, obviously one of the biggest things when it comes to the addition of season three are the new maps. The map Oasis totally changes how vehicles play within Halo of its big team battle mode. If you want to know why, check out this video right here. Thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.